everyone, welcome back. As always, my name is Oz, and today we are continuing our playthrough with On a Winter's Night for Travelers. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, you need to go back and watch that, or else you're not going to have any idea of what's going on. So right now, we are still in part one of the game. It's split up into like four different sections, apparently, which is the silent room. And in this silent room, we have just accidentally killed Patrick, who is our ex-lover of Carlo. Uh, they are in a, they were in a homosexual relationship until Patrick decided to cut it off in hopes of going to conversion therapy, which is a very dangerous form of therapy, but in the 1920s it was brand new and apparently it worked. Anyway, let's continue. We have just accidentally murdered Patrick. Here he is. Oh god, Patrick. Oh god. Yep, that is Patrick's dead body. Do we go over here and call... Oh, the phone is ringing. What's happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Okay, let's go wash our face then. Carlo. Oh, the painting is different. The painting is completely different. And there's no sounds coming from outside. Hand basin. Okay. I have to get out of here immediately. But go where? Everybody is going to know. What am I even saying? He told his wife they already know. There's no way out. As soon as they find him, they'll know where to find me too. Fuck you, Patrick. You got your way in the end, didn't you? This is all your fault. You hear me? Your fault. I guess we leave the bathroom now? Like, oh, what is this? Envelope. An envelope? It's an invitation to some kind of masked ball. RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be a, a mask. It's Slithers. Ooh. Uh, eh, eh, uh. And the next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. I think you hung yourself. And now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream, like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Not at all, what is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I have been looking all over for my husband. I cannot find him. I am quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. Hmm. And what does your... And what does your husband look like, miss? Uh, Winterbourne, Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers? Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. 
Do you remember? Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was. Uh, this is embarrassing, but I I'm not quite so sure right now. It's all right, Derry. What do you remember then? It was raining. Oh, we're going into part two. The slow vanishing of Lady Lady Winterbourne. Okay. Okay, this is cool. hallway. It's probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. Uh, maybe this. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. Um, can I get something out of here to cover up with? What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. I'll get changed later. Yes, tomorrow. I'm so tired right now. Okay. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Okay. We'll take more medicine. But you wanted to go look for your kitty cat. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Oh, what was that?
What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. I think I will have my medicine now. I've heard enough. I will have my medicine now. I guess it's... Well, I still have some medicine in my room. I can't go down... I can go downstairs tomorrow. Okay. I guess we're gonna go... Take some medicine then in our room. Okay, let's go take some laudanum, which is bad for you, don't take it. I think it's illegal now, actually. I'm actually pretty sure it's illegal now. Ooh. Oh! We took the drugs and it took us on a trip! Book. My favorite bedside book. Puffs a la Rachere du Tempest du Peru. As soon as I read two pages, I start dozing off. Come here. Mm -hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my harp for a bit. And maybe afterwards tea in the conservatory with a good book. No. It's not dark yet. I don't need to turn on the lamp. It's so warm outside, I don't need anything else. There is cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait, but if I am a Whitbourne, then so is he. Picture frames. Let's go look at the picture frames. Some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Maman and I in Vienna, 1926. A man and I in New York, 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. Is it like outside? He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he is arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. Maybe we can play the harp a little bit. I don't know how to play the harp. So pretty. The most wistful of melodies, Monsieur Said was the true master of melancholy. But right now I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Alright, let's go to the hallway then. Let's see what we have there. While oh, we're on this drug trip. Oh, let's see. Mum and Dad. Oh, how they hated posing for this. 
they uh, they think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. Dear Grandpapa Buavasis, I don't know how to pronounce that. He believed in me when nobody else did. I'm so sorry. I have a feeling a lot of this is in French and I don't know French at all. My little cousin from... I'm ends. I miss them so much. Oh, Nick. This beautiful Morano glass is a souvenir from a honeymoon in Venice. Just a personal trifle next to my family's treasures, of course, but very dear to me nonetheless. A classic Quinha vase from the Ming period. Invaluable, and one of the few pieces a family can still afford to keep. Limp. It's not dark yet. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. Okay, let's go downstairs then. Grandma Whitburn, I knew her in the last year of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Whitburn, I never met him. And from what I know, often met her. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. Let's go downstairs then! I want to see the rest of this cool-looking house while we're on this drug trip. I feel dizzy. I was going... Was I... Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? I guess we'll go back in the room now? I don't know what was wrong. I feel so weak. Oh, the drugs are wearing off. Sadness again. Can we go out? I think I'd rather go back to bed. Okay, we'll go back to bed then. Poor lady, poor lady. She is definitely going through some sort of grief. Perhaps her husband has passed away? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna stop this here so we can continue on with Lady Whiteborn. Is it Whiteborn or Whitborn? I'm not sure when we can carry on with her story in the next video. So thank you so much, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. Uh, I will definitely be playing the rest of this game. It'll be chopped up into a few more episodes, so stay tuned for those in the coming days. Again, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye!